Jesus, I am so excited today. It's like I woke up and thought, today is the day to get working for Jesus. Kat, I'm so excited to find someone who's ready to take action and get things done. Oh, man, I am that girl. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I've got something perfect for you, so let's get started. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, stand up. Remember, we were going to take action. Yeah, but this is where I always sit. Right, but I need more than this. Oh, I know what you're getting at. Okay, Jesus, how much do you want? What? $50? Is that enough? Oh, uh, that's not what I meant. Oh, uh, all right. Well, a hundred then, you know. I mean, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> um, okay, but, um, you might not want to cash this till next Friday. You know what I'm saying? Right. There you go. <laughs> okay, okay, Kat, really, I, I do think it's great that you want to give, but I want you to mentor a younger woman. Ooh, yeah, right. Well, Jesus, you know, I'm not really into, like, teaching people and stuff. I mean, I'm not, I don't really get into that. Okay, um, okay, you, you know that woman at the office, Amy? Yeah. I want you to take her out to lunch. Tell her about me. Um, well, Amy is different. I mean, like, really different, you know? I know, but she needs to know about me. Mm, and I can tell the people at the church to call her. I mean, they get paid to do things like that. I want you to do that. Jesus, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. <laughs> no, Kat, the problem is you're too comfortable. Would rather <laughs> passagem da Bíblia que conta que Jesus chegou no tempo, um certo dia na casa do pai e encontrou comércio expulsou todo mundo na base do chicote é Jesus desce aqui de novo pra fazer a mesma coisa, só que dessa vez no Brasil Yo! Faz parte de mim, fala coisa que a maioria das pessoas tem medo de falar Sou o profeta que o dinheiro não vai calar Não vou me comprar, meu caráter não está à venda Sinceramente não espero que a maioria me entenda Sei que é difícil ouvir que o evangelho virou negócio E que as pessoas no banco da igreja viraram gado Dízimo é bíblico, oferta é bíblico Mas campanha e desafio em excesso está errado Enquanto você coloca sua fé no envelope Não percebe que está sendo vítima de um velho golpe pela igreja católica antigamente E que hoje atinge a igreja dos crentes Pois o demônio que age engana na igreja do Papa Cruzou a fronteira religiosa e hoje nos ataca Mamon, entidade maligna, vida do inferno Antigamente usava sua batina, hoje também gravata eterno O evangelho é vida, não é negócio Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios o evangelho é vida, não é negócio Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Eu não faço rap pra vender CD Pra me aparecer, pra agradar você E pra aqueles que criticam a minha missão Eu não componho rap Escrevo ministração Diferente de muitos que estão na mídia, na televisão Dizem que só falam de salvação, mas visando a arrecadação Disputa absurda de território É notório, o discurso neles é contraditório Só vejo a defesa de interesses pessoais Só a minha igreja presta, as outras são de satanás Propaganda que eu te garanto, irmão, ser muito enganosa Tem pastor e bispo na TV com pregação mentirosa E quando é abordado e questionado Chama quem o denuncia de filho do Diabo. Eu não sou contra a teologia da prosperidade Mas é errado colocar ela como prioridade O evangelho é vida, não é negócio 
Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios O evangelho é vida, não é negócio Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Esses dias eu vi na TV uma coisa de louco eu vi. Um líder de certa igreja pedindo desmindobro ah. É antibíblico, porém muita gente o seguiu no momento O povo de Deus, Deus padece por falta de conhecimento A palavra fala de dízimo, oferta, primícia Mas o que esse líder fez e faz é coisa de polícia Isso me intriga e me leva a mais um questionamento, irmão Por que será que ele quer tantos horários na televisão? Você fala que o um milagre é de graça Porém com ele faz comércio que futuramente, infelizmente te levará à desgraça Deus usou tua vida pra curar tanta gente Tomara que cure também sua alma e seu caráter doente O evangelho é vida, não é negócio Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios O evangelho é vida, não é negócio Deus procura adorador e não sócio Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios Pequenas igrejas, grandes negócios This is the story about love. Love that came down from heaven. Love lived with us. Love spoke. Love healed. Love drew crowds. Love changed lives. Love made waves. Love was bold in the face of enemies. Love was true, no matter the cost. And love was faithful. Love prayed, listened, and obeyed. Love knew what had to be done, and did it. Love was betrayed and abandoned. Love was silent when wrongly accused. Love was whipped. Love was beaten. Love was tortured and mocked. But love was strong. Love dragged itself to a cross and laid down willingly to be insulted, shamed, nailed, stabbed, ripped, abandoned, and killed. Love hung from nails as the crowd looked on. And God looked away. Love denied comfort. Love refused rescue. Love courageously did what love had to do. Love sacrificially did what only love could do. Then love took one last breath. And finished. Love gave his life. Love paid our debt. Love saved us all even when we were not worth saving. That's real love. That's real love. That's real love. That's real love. So in my head, I was like, okay, I'm going to accept Christ in front of everybody right now. Then I'm going to go home and snort drugs until I don't want to do them anymore. And that was my way of thinking. So I received Christ at the church. I went home, neglected my daughter and put her in front of the TV. I remember I grabbed a $100 bill. I always used a $100 bill for some reason, pride or something. I chopped up my crystal meth, got it all smooth and powdery and I snorted a big old line and I held the bill and I looked up and I said Jesus if you're real like that pastor said then you gotta take these drugs from me come into my life come into my heart and I just got quiet I said search me right now search my heart and I stayed silent and I said you know I wanna quit you know I wanna be a good dad for this kid she lost her mother to drugs and she's gonna lose me if I don't quit. Amen. There's a high when you go on stage and you see all these people like just loving your music and loving you and stuff and there's these girls and all these people going 
worshiping me. When you see all those people just going nuts for you, it's like, you know, it, it puffs you up inside. You're like, you know, I'm important. That's where drugs can creep in and, you know, cocaine or whatever. Methamphetamines crept in and it all came from after drinking for me and, and my friends. And uh, it seems like fun in the beginning. It's a lie because it, it, it turns around on you. It starts to wear on your personality. It starts to wear on your relationships. And everything is affected by it negatively. Everything. There was a, a few times where life seemed good. My daughter, Jenea, she came into the world and I was like, it was just such a, a euphoric feeling. I thought my life could just feel like that forever, you know? It was like a, it was spiritual, just, I didn't know what was happening. I just felt so much love just fill my emotions. And I thought I was gonna be happy, but, uh. I just couldn't, I couldn't stay sober. I didn't know how. I hit rock bottom. I had swore that I would never do methamphetamines again because I saw what it did to my child's mother. It, it just took her feelings away and made her leave her kid. I just wanted her dead. I wanted to kill her. I, I thought she was a scum of the earth and uh, you know, how could she do drugs like that and let it let the drugs win her like that? So I never was going to do meth again. I ended up with a everyday crippling addiction to methamphetamine and everything that I said about my ex-wife came true for me. I sunk to the lowest gutter I could ever think of. I would spend time with my kid and I would still be on it because I needed it to function. I'd get up in the morning, have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and snort meth and then take her to school or whatever. It was just, I it was a junkie. I started losing my mind. This guy would show up at my house with like a gun and stuff. And then I ran out in Europe, had my drug dealer just crazy. send me drugs through, through the mail. I'd be tweaked out in my hotel room watching this package come from the U.S. It was just nuts. My life just was like spinning out of control. And Janae had come out on, a, on one of the tours in the U.S. I just remember me. her skipping around the house just singing one of our corn songs called Adidas. All day I dream about sex. And I'm like going, what am I doing? I'm a junkie. My daughter's singing all day I dream about sex. And uh, I'm gonna die. Father? My uh, real estate broker, Eric, he uh, he said, Brian, I don't mean to be weird with you. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I, f I felt the scripture like jump out at me. I've never done this before, you know, so I don't really know how to do this, but I felt like this would mean something to you. It's Matthew 11:28. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I remember all tweaked out. I looked up in the dictionary, wary. I looked up burdened, and I just I pulled the scripture apart, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm wary and burdened, and I need rest for my soul. And uh, I didn't know if it was real, but you know, they invited me to church a couple couple weeks later, and I had received Christ at the church. I went home, neglected my daughter, got it all smooth and powdery. Jesus, you got to take these drugs from me. Search me right now. Search my heart. Father. I felt so much fatherly love from, from heaven and it was like, I don't condemn you. I love you. I love you. It was just love, love and instantly that love from God came into me. It was so powerful that the next day I threw away all my drugs and uh, I quit corn. I was like, I'm quitting corn and I'm going to raise my kid because my kid, like I got the love from God coming to me and then it came out of me to my kid. It changed me. My heart was changed like that. And I was like, Janaya, daddy's going to be home with you all the time. I'm quitting my career. And her face lit up and she's like, 
for me. You know, she felt so special, and uh, God used her to save me, to save her life later on. My dream came true way more than I dreamt about. I, got, I made more money, I played bigger shows, I mean, houses, cars, I tried drugs, I tried sex, I tried everything to try to get pleasure out of this life. And I thought that I could fulfill my life with all this stuff by, by having my dream come true. And it came true, but it didn't fulfill it. When Christ came in, that feeling, he gives you the gift of understanding life, which is everything was created for Christ and by him and we're created to be with him and it's the most incredible feeling because you're where you belong and contentment is given to you in life because you don't have to look anywhere else and you're exactly where you need to be and the question about life is answered I'm Brian Head Welch and I'm second Mantendo firme, mesmo quando esse chão se move Olha pra baixo, não resolve só a sombra De onde estou já não há volta, volta E não há nada à minha volta Eu não consigo ver, não sei onde está você Me sinto só e começo a esperar pelo pior A luz do barco está bem longe, longe Enquanto minha voz não sai, o medo me responde Eu fui além do que é possível ao homem Mas eu parei agora, as águas me consomem Pensamentos maus pesam, meus temores desprezam O que me fez sair, o que me trouxe até aqui Pois sem fé é impossível agradar a Deus Me conformar Com esse nível raso O meu poder humano Não tem poder pra trazer O teu reino aqui Minha porção vem do céu Eu tenho fome de ti, Senhor Fome Sentindo a pele a dor das almas Não alcançadas por minhas esquecidas Vale 